Hallelujah. <clears throat> Father, we bless your name. Lord, we glorify you once again. We exalt you. We magnify you. We lift your name on high. We enthrone you this morning. Our heart rejoices in you. We celebrate you. We celebrate your voice, your speakings, your glorious expressions in the earth, even in times like this. Our heart rejoices in you. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you once again, Father. What a privilege to be alive in you. What a privilege to celebrate your voice in times like this. What a privilege to know that you are walking within hearts, within lives. That you are walking within dimensions that we cannot see with our physical eyes yet so real. Hallelujah. I thank you. I honor you. Friends, once again, welcome. If you're joining me this morning, welcome. This is the Porter's Gate online broadcast. A platform that has been set aside for the development, the equipping, and the transformation of the body of Christ. Which means you and I is a platform where we speak God's heart, God's mind, where we bring the Daba of God, meaning the expressions of the heart of God, into the human realm. This is a realm where we communicate and we connect, amen, yes, with the heart of God. We link heaven and earth, hallelujah. We, we get to know, we get to hear, we get to understand God's will and purpose for our life, regardless of the condition. So we want to keep our spirit open to continually receive a flow of the mind of God. No matter what may be happening around you or around me, amen, we've got to keep our channel, the channel of our spirit open. Therefore, this morning, we are going to be praying. We want to continue in the series of our kingdom devotional, you know, our, our, our series that we have not done for a while, of course, because of the series of teachings and trainings that we have been doing. We want to thank God. Well, yesterday we did a, 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 a you know, just a short a, a review of my book. We stopped on just the chapters alone, but what an explosion of truth. We want to thank God for that. Well, this morning, I want us to pray. I'm sure you need prayer. I need prayer. We all need prayer. But of course, you know that we, how we pray here on this platform is totally different from how people, you know, understand prayer. We pray the word of God. We pray the mind of God. We pray the desires of God. We pray the intentions of God. Because after all, prayer is that the kingdom of God, amen, come into our life. Prayer is that the will of God be established in us, all right? Prayer is not us slapping God with some list, amen. Yes, we've got our own list, but those lists must be laid, must be placed on the altar. He must decide for us because he knows better. Why? I'll show you, all right? This scripture tells us, Look at, just look at this scripture. Just look at this scripture. Every time I read this scripture, I just go, whoa, God help me. I mean, this is Jeremiah. This man, they knew something that we are still trying to, you know, grab hold of in our day. This man, amen, who track with God, who journey with God, they understood something, amen, about the nature of God, about the, the, the heart of God, the mind of God, the intentions of God, amen, regarding their life, okay? Not just, okay, well, this is what God is. This is who God is. This is what God, amen, is all about. But they know how that reality of God impact their own life and if we will understand things like this i tell you we will make lesser mistake we'll make lesser mistake i'm not saying we're not going to make mistakes but i mean the mistakes will be lesser hallelujah and that's what i really want us amen to begin to track in our day maybe you are in a situation where you don't know what to do you don't know you know uh, you know how to engage life you don't know if you're coming or you're going well the lord has been speaking to us on this platform and i thank god for the leading and the guidance of the spirit and he will still continue to lead and guide us if we amen continually present ourselves if we continually offer our life if we continually seek him amen he will lead us because that's why amen he, he said we must pray amen prayer are supposed to is supposed to lead us prayer is supposed to guide us prayer is supposed to amen inspire us Prayer is supposed to motivate us, amen. Prayer is supposed to give us a sense of hope, amen. Yes, he said he will give us a hope, amen, and a vision 
Yes, all of this we do in the place of of prayer so to us prayer is not just about amen that that physical need that physical need is just a manifestation of a greater need come on you know that that physical need amen is a manifestation is an outplay of something amen that is even more embedded within your life so god is not just about or i'm meeting the surface of your need he really wants to go deep into the recesses of your heart he wants to go into the state of your mind many a times when we are crying out for something we want something or it's it's just amen an expression is an amplification of a cry that most time we don't we don't get to hear or we don't even know you understand uh, behind every need amen there are other needs embedded hallelujah so uh, when we begin to talk to god we're not dealing with surface things we're dealing with things that are deep within things that are deeply embedded hallelujah within the core nature within the core structures of our life and that's why you will notice that the things that we speak about on this platform amen deals with our heart our nature Amen. This with who we are on the inside, not the surface, not the you know, you know these things that people look at the outside. All right, uh, you know people will look at you from the outside and they will judge you. All right, based on what they see, but you know the true you amen, cannot really be seen. And this is why we've been we did a whole series and we wrote a material amen regarding amen how to engage God, how to develop strength, strength from within, strength from your inner man that you may be strengthened in your inner man paul paul you know uh, you know said to the efficient church that you may be strengthened in your inner man many a times amen many of us amen, are totally clueless about our true identity i've said it several times many have been to church going to church are still in church even in position of leadership but they have not touched amen the dimension of their true nature Many people are living with themselves, amen, but they are strangers because they are, they, they, are, they are totally clueless about who they are on the inside. Who am I on the inside? All right. You know, we've allowed all kinds of situations, you know, you know, circumstances to, 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 to define us. But we're coming to a day, amen, of restoration. Hallelujah. We're coming to a day of restoration. We're coming to a day, amen, of insight. We're coming to a day of knowledge. We're coming to a day of self-rediscovery. And that can only be done, amen, through the knowledge of Christ, amen. We're coming to the place of self-discovery. Like I said, that can only be done through the knowledge of Christ. It is Christ that reveals Isaiah to Isaiah. I don't know who I am, amen, until I collided with Christ. Christ began to define me. He redefined me. He showed me my identity. Hallelujah. He, he, he began to tell me, this is what I have planned for you. These are the dimension, amen, that I have ordained for you. These are the dimension of grace I have provided for you. This is what I want you to do. And these are the resources I have made available. And I'm going to connect you to X, Y, Z. I'm going to be putting people in your life. I'm going to be taking people out of your life. I'm going to be aligning you, all right, to things that will allow you to fulfill my will on earth this is why we exist so where you are or what you're going through you know what you have what you don't have are all part of a package years ago i stopped amen comparing myself with people i stopped listening to the opinions of men yes even though that's something is diff that is difficult, amen, to, to deal with, to stop listening to people, all right, it's difficult, particularly if you have not learned to listen to God. But as I began to understand the voice of God and the ways of God and the will of God, it helped me, amen, to make decisions for myself, amen, yes, and that's a good place to be. A place where you are certain so that even when challenges come your way, amen, you know that, amen, yes, <clears throat> God allowed those challenges. Why? Because you've heard from him. You're not living your life based on trend, based on opinion, based on, you know, popular, you know, uh, 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 you know tr tr trend. No, you're living your life. You're tracking your life, amen, on, amen, what the spirit of God have said. So all of this help us to effectively pray. We want to be men and women, amen, who have a standing, who have a posture, who have, hallelujah, yes, a root in the earth in this end of days. We don't want to be weak. We don't want to be found, amen, you know, uh, 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 fidgeting, tired, amen, lacking behind, amen, you know, 
beaten down, cast down. No, we want to rise up, amen, in the authority, hallelujah, of God's intentions for our life. And that brings us to the place of weakness. You know what I mean by weakness, amen? It brings us to the place where we surrender to God. We lay on the altar like Isaac. Anything that you place on the altar is acceptable in the sight of God. It's acceptable. All right? We cannot have a life without a halt altar. The altar is a place where we, we bring ourselves and we say, God, this is me. I'm throwing myself down. I lay, I'm laying down my life. I'm laying down my resource. They say, all right, if you, if you come to the house of God, you bring your resource, you lay it on the altar. And if somebody, you've got an issue with somebody, say, go make up with that person and then come back and offer your offering. Amen. Yes, on the altar. Altar is a place where we offer things to God. It's the channel. And when Jezebel comes and destroy your altar, you have no, amen, platform to connect to heaven powerful are you getting this when Jezebel comes and destroy your altar you have no means of reaching heaven that's what Jezebel does oh hallelujah this is powerful Jezebel wants to you know destroy disconnect you amen yes from hearing God she destroyed the entire altar of God she destroyed the altar Nobody could reach God. <laughs> Even the prophet was confused. He said, I'm the only one left. Are you getting this? And I've said it, I'll say it again. Jezebel is not, is not the woman. Jezebel just likes to use the persona of a woman. All right? And we're seeing that spirit rising up in our day. All of this feminist movement, all of this God knows what movement. You understand? behind those spirit behind those movements is a Jezebelic order alright it's an order that want to govern through amen the unruling order the unruling spirit is a is a is a spirit that wants to govern through the soul is a is a spirit that wants to manipulate and control and take charge and that's a spirit you have to fight alright be a woman or a man you have to fight that thing you must fight it first from your own life. You must fight it. Amen. Yes, in the life of other people. Like I said, listen to what I said. Jezebel does not want you to connect to God. The Bible says she tore down the altar of God. She pulled it down. She destroyed it. She's mean. That spirit is mean. Alright? And that's when you feel you can't pray. You better, be, you better watch it. When you feel I'm tired. I don't know how to. Uh, you might just be dealing with a Jezebelic spirit. All right? This morning, I'm not talking about Jezebel. I'm talking about something amen, that Jeremiah touched, of course, which connects us all right, to you know, all of these issues. Jeremiah said, I know, O oh Lord, that a man's way is not his own. Is your way. Your way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you assume you're in charge of your ways? Do you assume you're in charge of your life? Have you been awakened to the point of realizing that <laughs> your way doesn't belong to you? Remember, your ways are your plans. They are the things you want to carry out. They are the things you want to do. They are the way, amen, you look at life. There's something called, amen, a man's way. The way of a man. And there's something called the way of God, the way of the Spirit of God. Not just the way of the Spirit, the way of the Spirit of God. Jeremiah said, I know, O oh Lord, that my way, a man's way, the way of the world, the way people, you know, move and act does not belong to them. A man's way is not his own. We wake up and we decide, like that scripture I read not too long ago. All right, people, people wake up. They say, "Okay, we will go to that city and we will go to this city, and we will make money for ourselves. We will do business. God wants us to do business, but He wants us to do them, Amen, in accordance to His ways, in accordance to His will, in accordance to His, Amen, His intention. A man's way is not his own." But you will not know, you will not understand that, amen, until, until you have, amen, 
built or you have restored or you have amen, an altar. Because remember, the altar is a place where we what? We commune with God. That's a place when we commune with God. When you commune with God, He communes back to you. When we when you speak to God, He speaks back to you. The Bible says, Seek the Lord, you will find Him. When you seek the Lord, Amen, diligently with all your heart, the Bible says you're gonna find Him. Finding Him means you're gonna, Amen, know what He desire what he intends for you you're going to amen have insight and that's the best way to live life isn't it you want to live from a position where you know what god amen wants you to do even when amen that thing is not popular if god says this is the path this is the way this is the direction jesus said i am the way it means that amen we're tracking something we're going somewhere he knows we're going somewhere amen in fact he intends us to go somewhere because life is about movement, amen? People today are moving from one place to another. They are moving from one dimension to another. They are leaving one city to another. They are moving from one job to another. You know, it, it, life is about movement. Communication and, and transportation, amen, defines the world we live in. Communication and transportation. These two things are too powerful. You cannot live it. That's why any government that wants to succeed must invest in those two areas communication transportation must be so easy people must be able to commute move from place to place with ease hallelujah in heaven there are there are there are things set in place to help us to move around to communicate that's why you will see the name of our ministry is called portals gate portal hallelujah in the spirit people travel through portal in the spirit <laughs> one of these days amen i will speak about portal because you cannot come into dimension amen of kingdom life amen without understanding the principles of portals hallelujah we travel in portals in the spirit we move from dimension to dimension realms to realms amen I've been speaking about this for a year, for years. That all right, in the things of the spirit, there are journeys, there are movements. You may be here, hallelujah, but you are tracking things in America. You are tracking things in in United Kingdom. In fact, sometimes they will literally transport you, amen, to another nation because there's, there are things they want you to engage there. So issues of amen, transport, movement matters, but you cannot do that, amen, on your own or by your own strength. And I was carried by the Spirit. And I was in the Spirit in the last day. And he was transported. John, the, John, John. I, and he was transported from a place on earth called, amen, you know, Patmos, island of Patmos, to heaven. To heaven. The human spirit, amen, was designed to move. You are not supposed to be static. You are not supposed to be stationary. You are not supposed to be limited or bound. Anything that wants to keep you bound or limit, amen. Yes, it's a Jezebelic spirit that you've got to track. That thing is coming again. <laughs> but we travel, hallelujah, through the altars of God. We travel, amen, through the altars of God. We, when our life is laid on the altar, when we surrender completely in obedience, obedience to his ways to his will then god has something to move then god has an errand boy then god has a, a, a woman amen to use yes are you getting the point but when you are fixative on your own ways you want to do your own thing your your mind is fixed on your own ways do you know people like that they are set in their ways. You can't change them. They don't want to change. They become, amen, an hindrance to the movement of God, to the things of God. To, I mean, the condition of the earth today is a revelation of the state of the church. A church, amen, that is, that is mobile, that is movable, that is plowable, amen, would have transformed a lot of things. Isn't it? Yeah. The condition of the earth today, you know, is a microcosm of the state of the church. When we come to a day and a position in our spiritual life that we are totally yielded, we surrender, we submit to the things of God, things begin to happen quick and fast, quick and fast, quick and fast. Amen. Yes. 
quick and fast. Amen. Yes. But people do not see the, you know, the need to invest heavily in the things of the Spirit. Because when you invest heavily in the things of the Spirit, it allows God also to move swiftly amen, regarding His prophetic mandate and intentions in the earth. It is not, hallelujah, for a man to direct his own ways. This is what we are tracking, friends. Jeremiah 10.23 You have to come to this knowledge. You have to come to this position in your work with God. It has to be clear to you, friends, that what you define to be your ways, in fact, are not. All right? They say, seek the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your lean not unto your own understanding. There's something called your own understanding. There's something called your own knowledge. There's something called your own wisdom. And as we grow in God, as we grow in the things of God, we have to constantly check our life. I hope I am not doing things, amen, by my own way, by my own strength, by my own wisdom. I hope, amen, I'm not, I'm not tilting towards my own strength, amen. I'm not giving in to my own understanding. All of these things that I'm mentioning must be laid on God's altar. God Almighty, this day, you've given me a brand new day. My wisdom, my knowledge, my understanding, all that I have, even the ones you gave me yesterday that I utilized yesterday, now I'm bringing them down and laying them on the altar. You know what you do when you lay things on the altar? Amen. They catch fire. <laughs> they catch fire. You can use them. All right? Until they are purified. If they are purified, you can use them again. If they, if they are burned, sorry, you can't use them again. You have to wait on God to give you fresh, hallelujah, fresh wisdom. Wisdom for the day. Wisdom for tomorrow. Wisdom, knowledge for the day. Hallelujah. Understanding for those complex situations. You have to wait on him. He delights in us waiting on him. I know, oh Lord. Have you noticed the way hallelujah, Jeremiah defined God? Is the sovereign one. Every time they, they refer to God amen, as Lord, they are telling you that you need to listen. Because in this matter, you do not have a say. This is not come, let's reason together. No. In this matter, you do not have a say. He is Lord. He rules. He reigns. He is sovereign. I know, oh Lord, a man's way. I like that word, a man's way. This is talking about one that is mature. This is not a boy that is still learning, that is still under, you know, the, 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 the you know, the guidance of his of his father or mother. All right, no, no, this is not somebody all right, that that cannot speak for himself. This is not one, amen, who who needs an interpreter. Who no, no, this is a man, a, a grown, mature, amen, person. Yes, you're listening, you're watching me. It is not in your own earlier strength or wisdom or ability to direct your ways. If you do, you're going to make a mistake. And I'll tell you why. Because each day as we move with God, amen, there are new realities that we have to come into. Why? Secondly, there are complex issues that are being birthed, that are being thrown, amen, into the rings of the earth. There are, there, are, there are new, powerful, demonic principality being positioned in our path. Amen. Yes. That you cannot afford to use the wisdom, the wine skin of yesterday to, you know, to engage. Well, I was strong yesterday. I dealt with that beer yesterday. I fought that liar yesterday. Today, I should be able to fight amen, this Goliath. Sorry, they need to give you, amen, the wisdom for today to deal with the Goliath of today. Hallelujah. So the Lord delights in us. Yes, yes, we are able, but our ability must come from a point and place, amen, of total dependence, of total trust. Remember, this is a devotional series. So I'm showing us some things we need to know so that when we're praying, 
our prayers, amen, are directed, are guided, amen, via the leading of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit leads us daily. Hallelujah. Give us this day our daily bread. Bread, hallelujah, yes, gives you what? Stamina, strength. Bread gives you stamina, gives you strength. Give us this day. So as you go to God, hallelujah, and seek his will for the day, Lord, I know this is this is this is a scripture you should you should print out, put somewhere, all right? Tag it, you know, uh, 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 put it as a note, you know, uh, uh, a note reference on your computer, wherever, you know. But keep seeing the scripture, keep meditating on it until life begins to ooze out of it, until life begins to, amen, come out of it. I know, oh Lord, it's not in my way to direct my own path. No one, no man of his own strength can guide, can direct his path. No one walks, amen, in accordance to his own steps. I know, oh Lord, that a man's way is not his own. No one who walks directs his own steps. I mean, that is, that's, that's a scripture you've got to keep looking at. No one who walks You've got the strength to walk, right? But you don't have the strength to direct your path. No one who walks. Walking is easy. Walking on the right path. That's where the challenge is. You know what I said? It's easy to walk. You can walk and start, you know, just going wherever you want to go. You see, the issue is going on the right path. Because we have to conserve energy. We have to conserve every resource God has given to us in this last days. Therefore, the, the movement, our decision has to be guided by the Spirit. No one who walks directs his own steps. Lord, help us. Guide us this morning. Help us to understand what it means to live in Jeremiah 10.23. Show us how to plant our feet. Show us how to plant our life in this order of a life, oh God. As we hear the sound of awakening, the sound, the trumpet, yes, of your spirit. Within, yes, the depth, the recesses of our heart. We hear this clarion call. No one who walks, guides, directs his own path. We surrender to the voice of the Holy Spirit, our teacher, our guide, the one who leads us in a path that no one has ever walked. He said, no eyes have seen, no ears have heard. He said, the heart of man has not conceived these things. God, this day we ask of you, grant us grace, grant us wisdom, fresh understanding, as we come to your table to partake of your flesh, to drink, O oh God, of this covenant, yes, ah, we pray in the name of Jesus that we'll be renewed and be refreshed in the knowledge of your will. Help us to hear the sound of your spirit so we can respond in the path, in the right way, in the right path to follow. That we dare not make a move. It was Moses who said, We would dare not make a move except your spirit goes with us. How we need your spirit to go with us. Wherever you have desired and ordained for us today, whatever we need to do, whatever we need to engage, no matter how little, small, inconsequential they may look, yet we know that we need your strength. You say, for by human strength shall no man prevail. Oh, Father, we have come to the place called the tree of life. We want to partake of this fruit so we can hear, so we can know, so we can track, so we can respond in accordance to your ways. This is what we ask for this morning. In this period, in this time of devotion, we lay down, we surrender, we yield ourselves totally, completely to you. All of me, I bring, I lay them down and I ask of you this morning, guide me, lead me, Father. Teach me your ways. Help me to know 
your voice anew afresh. May I not depend, oh God, on the experience of yesterday. My, my experience of you yesterday cannot, yes, suffice. It's not enough to handle the complex challenges of the day. I pray once again this morning as I undress myself, oh God, yes, of the strength of yesterday, of the wisdom of yesterday, of the knowledge of yesterday, of the things that I did and I'm proud of. And even the things that I did that I'm not pr proud of as I lay them down on the altar. Lord, I receive this morning the mind of Christ. I wear the mind of Christ. I receive, oh God, a new sense of, yes, lifestyle coming into your place and receiving wisdom and, and knowledge from you. I declare, oh God, this morning I wear a new cloak, a cloak of humility. I surrender, yes. Yes, it takes humility to pray. It takes humility. It takes meekness to know that, yes, one, one needs to wait on you. Yes, you said the meek will inherit the earth. It takes meekness to come to the place of divine administration. It takes meekness to come to the place of divine authority. Yes, the meek will be given power and authority to administrate the earth. Father, this day I rise up and I declare, oh God, I surrender myself. I surrender my brothers, my sisters, those that, those that are able to connect and those struggling to connect wherever they are. May your eyes that is running through and through the earth, oh God, find them this morning. Locate them, oh God. Empower them. Bring them up to the place of strength, oh God. Bring them to the place of grace. Bring them to the place of knowledge, oh God. May they hear your voice. May they wake up, oh God, from that deep sleep, oh God. May they shake themselves from the doors. May they break away from the chains of lukewarm, lukewarmness. May they rise up in the authority of your name, oh God, reaching forth to the place of strength. Ah, I pray, Father, this morning that you will touch our vision, that we will begin to see once again like a Caleb generation. Caleb said 40 years ago, I was promised this mountain. 40 years now, I am still willing. My eyes have not grown deep. I've not lost sight of the vision. I'm still able. Give me this mountain. Father, we pray this morning that we will not lose sight of the vision. We will not lose sight of the calling. We will not lose sight of the mandate. But rather daily, there will be a fresh awakening of the path of the glory, of the authority, of the of the strength that we need, oh God, yes, Father, to invest into so we can rise up in the fulfillment of your intentions for our life. May we not be captured, oh God, yes, Father, by the noises of the day. May we not, oh God, be distracted by the noises of the day. May we fix our heart. May we fix our mind on you. May we continue to hear your voice. May you. May we continue to follow you. You said, yes, take up your cross. If you love me daily and follow me. May we carry this day our own cross, whatever it is, oh God, but may we follow you for that is where the cross becomes a place of life. Father, we pray this morning, allow us once again, yes, to be part of those, yes, Father, who have laid down all things at the feet of, of, the, of the mountain, oh God, climbing to the hill where they can meet with you, the place of ascendance, the place of glory, the place of transformation, you said yes after seven days you came to that healer you came to that mountain with Peter James and John hallelujah and there before their literal eyes you were transformed we pray oh God that as we come to this order of life as we come to this place of prayer as we come to this place of communion as we come to this place of interaction as we come to the place where heaven and earth meet there's a place where heaven and earth meet as we come there and as we interact with yes Moses Elijah as we pray father we pray in Jesus name. May we also be transformed. May we be translated. May we be reformed to the glory of your name we ask this morning. Don't leave us at the feet of the hill. Take us along. Help us to journey. Grant us strength. Grant us new life. Grant us this day, oh God. Yes, the joy to ascend with you. I pray, Father, that we will not depend on our own ability, that we will not depend on our own ways. It is not, yes, for a man to direct his own path, to walk in his own ways, in his own wisdom. Oh God, teach us this morning your ways. Grant us 
grant us the pleasure of walking with you, the pleasure of knowing you, the pleasure of surrendering to what you have planned and desire and ordained for us today, not yesterday, not tomorrow, today. Give us this day our daily bread. We receive in the name of Jesus, yes, Father, bread for the day. Bread represents life. Bread represents strength. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Hallelujah. As we partake of Christ, as we partake of Christ, Jesus, you said, except you eat of me, except you eat of this bread, you have no part, except you drink of me. On that day, you broke the bread and their eyes were open. Father, pray, break the bread, but don't just break it. Don't just open our eyes. We want life. We want to eat of you. We want to eat of you. We want to be part and parcel, oh God, of the things that you are doing in our day. So we pray in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, enable us, oh God, to come to the table. You have invited us just as you've invited many you've sent the invitation go out call those who are worthy to come to my house and eat father we pray that we will not give excuse we will not make excuse we will not be captured oh god by the dromedaries of the day by the needs and the activities of the day where we cannot come oh god to your table we want to come we need to come we have to come we are making our way oh god to your house lord as the queen of shepherd made a journey to the table of Solomon to, to feed on the wisdom of this man that you have embedded with life. Father, we pray that as the queen of the shepherds of this world are coming, O oh God, to find wisdom, to find knowledge again within the corridors of your house, that we, O oh God, as the Solomons of our day will be ready, that our table, yes, will be prepared, filled with all kinds of meal, filled with all kinds of diet oh god yes father that as she comes and and interact with this house with this order that she will learn not just of the things oh god that solomon says but of the administration of the arrangement of life father rearrange our life that we may become a, a, a spectacle that we may become a, a point of reference oh god yes father to them that are coming to find knowledge and wisdom from us yes the walls are coming the nations are coming because they will get to the point and place where their wells will dry and they will say let us go yes to Zion we have been told that there is water there in that day on that day they will say come let us go up we don't go down to Zion we go up to Zion and they will say come let us go up yes to the house of God to the mountain of the house of the God of Jacob there he will teach us father we are that mountain we are that hill we are that place we are that order of men called Zion build us build us build our inner man build my spirit man father empower me in this new day in this season oh God grace oh God for my brother grace for my sister impart so the seed of your life revelation oh God new life fire fill them with fire burn to ashes that which oh God is not of you but bring to life oh God refine and refine that which is of you let a new order of man be awakened oh God in this new day as we engage this holy hill as we engage this holy mountain father we pray oh God that nothing oh God yes of yesterday we go nothing not even the idols of our father's house will go may they burn oh God in the name of Jesus I pray for a new new understanding, a new sense of passion, a new sense of burden in the heart of your men and women, in the heart of the young and the old. May we see the voice, O oh God, of your spirit. May we hear the cry of your spirit. May we connect, O oh God, with the mandate and the demand of this new day. May we not be captured and be imprisoned by the spirit, yes, the imprisoned man. We break away. We declare like Methuselah. We rise up this day 
and we take our journey into the place of longevity of life. We will live and not die. This is the day of life. Christ, you have come to give us life and that life in abundance. We are partakers of the life of God. We are partakers of the life of God. The life of God is what translates to light, is what translates to strength, is what translates to creativity. It is what translates, yes, uh, to a creative leader. It is what translates, yes, to skill. We need life more than ever before. Give me life, oh God, that I may give light to my generation. Give me life, oh God, that I may transform community, that I may empower men and women, that I may resource, oh God, leaders. Uh, I pray in the name of Jesus for the spirits of life. The spirit of life. The spirit of a new day. The spirit of apostolic mandate. The spirit of the new reformation. Whatever that is, we step into it. We proclaim without hesitation, without reservation that we are the joy of the nation because Christ you live in us and you have called us to, re to reflect you. We declare that we are light. Everything we do is a light. And the beauty of light is that it shines in darkness. I will not be overwhelmed by darkness. I will not be overcome by darkness. Neither will my brother or my sisters be overcome or be overwhelmed with darkness. Whatever darkness represents and is to this day, to this order, to this new day, to this new generation. Father, we receive light that can expose it. We receive light that can out outshine it, that can overshadow it. Yes, Father, we thank you. We honor you, O oh God, this morning for a new beginning, a new start, a journey, a moving forward to the, the place, O oh God, of your glory and divine pleasure. Indeed, our life, O oh God, is to bring glory and pleasure to your holy name. So continue to lead us. Continue to guide us. O oh Lord, I know Jeremiah says, it's not in a man to direct his own his own ways. A man's way does not belong to him. My way belongs to you. My way, whatever that is, whatever you have in mind that represents my way, because I can be limited even, even in the understanding of what I call my ways. But whatever that is, it's not for me to direct so I yield to you I surrender to you I submit to you have your way in my life have you heard that prayer before have your way in my life that is, that is not just some statement that's a powerful prayer God have your way you know what that means override, overrule my own will, my own strength. Override my will. Override my ways. Override my preference. And know that which I have approved. And approve that which I have annulled. Grace. I receive grace to track your ways in this new day. I receive grace and strength to journey in the place of your good pleasure. Spirit of the Lord, this is our prayer. This is our desire. Teach us your ways. Lead us in your path. Guide us through your eye lead, O oh God. May we be, O oh God, a company of them called the Ecclesia, whose life are still a fragrance of life to them that are living and the fragrance of death to them that are dying. We pray, oh God, plant our feet in the path of your will. Establish our hearts in the place of your good pleasure. May the will of Christ overrule, override 
our own soulish desire and passion. Empower our spirit to be strong in you and in you alone. May every strength that we have be laid on the altar as we wait for your strength. Lord, we wait for your timing. We wait for your moment. We wait for your signal. We will not run like, a, like Aimas. We will not run without a message. We will not go without being sent. We refuse, oh God, yes, to be, to be enticed to do things in our own strength or ways. We refuse to be enticed to run, to try to build things without building the altar where we can communicate in order to know your heart and your voice. Jezebel has turned down the altar of God. Ah, oh, how we need, yes, in our day, an Elijah spirit, an Elijah's grace, an Elijah's wisdom, an Elijah's capacity, yes, to rebuild the turned down altar. Because only from this point can we commune with you. Until there was a restoration of an apostolic order, the things of God could not advance. Until Nehemiah and Ezra rebuild the altar, and of course Joshua, son of Jezedek, the priest, Zerubbabel, and Agai, these are powerful restoration anointing and grace until they rebuild the altar Nehemiah could not come to rebuild the wall so father as we hear this wisdom as you speak to us about issues of the rebuilding of your house we are the house there's a construct taking place going on father we declare that we surrender to your process we surrender to your leadings. We surrender to your guidance. We will not borrow a word and run with it. No. We will wait. We will commune. We will interact. We will fellowship. We will relate with the true spirit of men and women that you are calling in this season to champion the reformation, the transformation, the rebuilding, Father, men and women that you have given the architectural order of that which your spirit desire to build in this season. We will not parrot this thing, but we will surrender, we will submit. We will connect, we will humble ourselves. We will find bearers of light. We will, we will find those, yes, who are bearers of the of the pitcher with the water. Feel, oh God, yes, of the spirit of light. We will go to, yes, Father, to the place where we can fetch water and come, Lord, yes, so that that which you have spoken and you desire to do, yes, will be carried out. Help us. He said, go to the river. There are men and women positioned in our day called rivers. When you come to them, they will give you, hallelujah, yes, water. Why? Because God has positioned them out of Eden flowed four heads of river. Grant us, O God, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding in this season to track all this order of restoration and reformation. Help us, grant us knowledge, wisdom, understanding, the keys of your kingdom to unlock these principles, O God, so our life can be indeed, yes, fixed on that path where we can truly reflect you. We pray, Holy One, grant us life, grant us grace, grant us sp your spirit, grant us, O oh God, new leaves of life. The old has passed, the new has come, and we drink of the order of the new. We drink after the order of our strength. In the name of Jesus, we connect with you, we relate with you, and we relate with everyone that relates with you. Oh, Father. This is our cry. This is our prayer this morning. Bring us to hear the sound and the voice of your spirit. Awaken us in this day of a new sense of devotion. In this day of a new sense of devotion. Build us up. Empower us. Enable us. Energize us. Strengthen us. Grace us. 
grace us. Grace us, oh God. Grace us to track your mind. Grace us to track your heart. Grace us to track your will. Grace us, oh God, to track your spirit in, in each and every one. Because we all carry something unique that can connect us to the greater things that you call the assembly. Father, we honor you. Oh, hallelujah. We praise you. We honor you. We are refreshed this morning through the voice of your spirit. We are renewed, energized. Thank you for new leaves of life. Thank you this morning for strength. Thank you for the rain of your spirit. The outpour, outpour of your spirit. You are pouring in the midst of the quagmire and the troubles and the trials and the temptations and the failures and whatever may be going on on earth. It does not stop the prophetic word that has gone forth. In the last days, said the Lord, I will pour out my spirit upon our flesh. The sons and daughters will burst forth in prophecy. This is the day of the outpouring of the spirit of the Lord, friends. No matter where you are, what the condition may be like, what the situation may be like, God is still pouring. Circumstance does not stop or hinder what heaven has desired and ordained. If you will connect, you will receive. Father, we thank you this morning that this is the day I connect, O oh God, with the outpouring of your spirit. I receive into my spirit this morning a new lease of life, a new outpouring. You're pouring out wisdom. You're pouring out knowledge. Yes. Yes. You're pouring out counsel. Hallelujah. You're pouring out grace. You're pouring out your strength. Hallelujah. Yes. You're pouring out new life. You're pouring out your might. You're pouring out your power. Hallelujah. You're pouring out revelation. You're pouring out. Hallelujah. Yes. The ability to stand and to represent you. Jesus. We honor you. We praise your name for the outpouring of your spirit. Yes, the outpouring of your spirit. You say, ask of me rain in the times of rain. Friends, you better believe it. God is pouring out his spirit in this new day. There is a, there is a present outpouring. I once heard somebody says, well, all that God needed to do, he has done it. No, no. He has not done it. The Bible says, Amen. It is the Lord that is at work in us, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. There is a present ministry of Christ right now. Hallelujah. The present priestly ministry of Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us. In the, in the, in the activity of intercession, there are things that are being released into the earth to resource the church. Yes, yes, to resource what we stand for. Amen. There is a new grace, the new spirit, that which, amen, Paul and the rest of them were able to do in their day were released, okay, based on the spirit, based on the environment, based on their generation. There is, amen, an outpouring of the spirit of God for our generation so that we can, amen, go through, we can, you know, break through whatever limitation, challenges, amen, the enemy is throwing to us today, hallelujah, what's today's date? Today, the 25th of August, hallelujah, there is an outpouring of the Spirit of God for me to bear, for me to go through, for me to hear, for me to know, for me to understand. If you don't key into it, it will pass you by. Ask of me rain in the time, in the seasons of rain. And God says, I will make bright clouds. So we're asking this morning for the spirit of the Lord to rest upon us. For the spirit of wisdom, for the spirit of understanding, for the spirit of counsel and might, for the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. So we can delight in the Lord. Hallelujah. So that we will not judge by what we see with our physical eyes or decide by what we hear. Amen. By our natural physical ears. But in righteousness, we will judge the needy. We justice hallelujah we will give decision to the pores of the earth that's a present truth that is a present truth and I keep myself into it I keep my life into it I keep my home my family into this order I keep everyone within the within the community of the potter's gate into this order I proclaim upon you right now that you will walk in the spirit of the Lord 
Lordship is a spirit. And that Lordship is a reflection of all that Christ is and represents in the earth. And that spirit of Lordship, amen, will release and allow you to walk into what they call the keys of the kingdom. The spirit are there of wisdom and understanding. They are in pairs. They are married. He married them together. He linked them together. Hallelujah. The spirit of what? The spirit of wisdom and understanding is your portion. You will not be confused. You will not be confused. You will know what to do. You will know how to hear God. You will hear God. But you will also know how to apply what you have heard from his presence in the name of Jesus. You will not be overwhelmed by situation. You will know, hallelujah, how to respond, amen, to every situation, to every challenge. You will know how to connect with people in the name of Jesus. You will be able to discern the times and the season. Like the sons of Issachar, you will walk in the power and the strength of David in the name of Jesus. I proclaim upon you the day the spirit of counsel will rest upon you and might counsel and might walks together they are married it's your portion if you claim it you can have it as you walk in humility and surrender yourself to that way the spirit of the lord is required the spirit of knowledge and the fear of god can you see god is a perfect matchmaker the spirit of knowledge and the fear of god because they know that knowledge puffs off. They know that knowledge, amen, yes, can begin to breed, amen, yes, pride. So they use, amen, the fear of God to balance it. As they use, hallelujah, might to balance counsel. That you don't just give an advice. You don't just say the right thing, but there's also a power that makes what you say comes to pass. It's not a good place to be, friends. Come on, bless the Lord this morning. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We praise your name this morning. We glorify you. We just give you praise, Father, for the things that you have done in our lives, in our midst. Thank you, Father, this morning that we can flow in the rivers of your spirit. We can move. We can journey, oh God, in this understanding of life. Thank you, Lord, that as we devote ourselves to you and to your ways, that we'll continue to be refreshed. Thank you once again. We are alive. I speak life to you. You're watching me. I speak life to you. I speak life over you. In the name of Jesus, I speak strength to you. I speak strength over you. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim this morning that you are cloaked. You are cloaked. You are cloaked this morning. Yes, in strength, in wisdom, in knowledge. You're not alone. God is with you. He's leading you. He's guiding you. I, I silence every voice of doubt, self-doubt, every voice of weakness and fear and confusion. I silence them over you. I declare this morning, you have the mind of Christ. He leads you. He guides you. He teaches you his ways, his will. You are not confused. Light comes into that dark areas of your life, into that confusing area of your life, into that place that causes you fear. I declare right now, the Lord is leading you. He's He's giving you clarity, direction. He's bringing solution to you. You know what to do regarding your home, regarding your family, regarding your business, regarding your career, regarding your ministry. You are not confused. He will lead you to make that decision you need to make. Counsel in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare provision for you in every area of your life. Provision, sustenance, sustenance. You are sustained. Favor of God. The blessings of God that makes rich and add no sorrow. You walk in it. New life, new zeal, new zeal, new power, new position to stand in the earth as an oak tree planted, unshakable, unmovable. Hallelujah. You allow God into your life to trim every branch in you that is not bearing fruit so you can bear forth. Hallelujah. Yes, the require fruit. In the name of Jesus, I declare the wild wind of the spirit is blowing, bellowing over your space hallelujah carrying you to the place you ought to be you are not afraid you are not alone grace upon you strength upon you hallelujah zalaboya zalaboya 
zambre geda de zabaha ha ha jan salala boka ya dada in the name of jesus it touches your lips it makes your mouth like the pen of the ready writer hallelujah you will you will speak words in season to the weary your words will be filled with with life yes with edification your world will your words will build up you will build up the weary in the name of jesus i declare your words will encourage morning by morning it awakens you awakens your spirit yes to learn to be instructed yet to speak and to represent his intention fear not is with you you're not alone grace upon you strength upon you the wisdom of god flow into your life the knowledge of god guides you the knowledge of god is your is your guide yes they guide you hallelujah mercy and truth will guide you mercy and truth will lead you mercy and truth will teach you mercy and truth hallelujah will bring you to the place of of the chamber of the father the holies of holy mercy and truth will lead you into the holies of holy you will know the lord you will partake of the hidden manner you will be given alia the rod of moses the bar authority grace wisdom knowledge you are renewed put on the whole armor of god refuse the spirit of heaviness for the lord has not given you the spirit of fear in the name of jesus i declare you're going for this day shall be after the order of david you will go from from kevadulam you will enter zigla from zigla you will come to ebron you will establish for god hallelujah yes hallelujah zion the place called the city of david in the name of jesus you will rule down in the midst of your enemy you will not be afraid you will execute the judgment that is written grace upon you as grace was released upon the house of Israel grace upon you and your household grace upon your family in the name of Jesus arise and shine for your light has come the glory of the lord is risen upon you in the name of Jesus take up your position do not be afraid do not be dismayed this day you will see the salvation of your god i say you will see the salvation of your god you will see the salvation of your god this day you will see the lord move on your behalf as the rain of the spirit falls upon you don't be afraid of the dark cloud it's about to rain when it's about to rain it gets dark the cloud gets dark it looks scary but don't be scared There's about to be a downpour. It's been pouring here in Franjuk, you know, through the night, heavy pouring, heavy pouring. I see this as as a prophetic signal. Hallelujah. Of the of that which the Lord amen is doing. Have you seen that even the dark cloud the night does not stop the rain that the night does not stop the rain that rain does not just fall only in the afternoon when it's all you know bright no 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 sometimes most time rain falls in the night and here's the word of the law that even in your darkest night even in your darkest situation even in the, your darkest hour there was going to be there's going to be there is an outpouring of the spirit of the lord upon you i declare it in the name of jesus rise up in the prophetic grace of god rise up in the prophetic mandate of god rise up break forth every 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 shackle every chain of limitation rise up take your place take charge hallelujah position yourself move forward in the name of jesus give glory to god friends give glory hallelujah father we thank you thank you lord that you have touched our lips and we cannot but to prophesy you've touched my lips and i cannot but to prophesy thank you that prophecy strengthens prophecy prophecy edifies prophecy builds up prophecy yes equip prophecy energizes prophecy takes people that are weak and tired amen to rise up in the authority of the word and they're able to engage in the power of the spirit yes outrunning their enemy reclaiming all that has been taken and stolen it's your day pouring out my spirit your sons and your daughters will prophesy hallelujah father we thank you thank you thank you father glory glory newness 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 i declare upon you newness newness whatever that is 
it's yours newness your spirit can hear me even if your mind cannot comprehend what I'm saying but your spirit can pick and track every word that has been spoken that has been declared open open your spirit and let your spirit do the interpretation of this spiritual hallelujah impartation hallelujah Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father, for testimony in the life of your people this morning. Thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do in their life this weekend. Throughout, yes, this period, this month of August that we have really used to wait on you. Father, we, we anticipate great things, great things in the coming months, in the coming years. We thank you, Father, for advancement, movement, grace, impartation. Hallelujah. Divine guidance, divine protection, sustenance. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for refreshing. Thank you, Father, for the refreshing of your spirit. Thank you, Lord, for men and women who will be contacting this word, wherever they are going to be connecting this word from, oh God, regardless of their boundaries, regardless of the barriers, as this word reached them, they will literally, yes, walk out of this prison. They will literally be free and be transformed, be delivered, oh God, from whatever it is. But the enemy has used to hold them bound. Thank you. It's a brand new day. I speak life once again to you. Life to you. You that will be listening to this podcast. Yes, I speak life to you. You that will be listening. Yes, to this uh, broadcast later on. Wherever, whatever platform that may be. I declare as this, as this word hit your eardrum. You will begin to rise up in healing, in restoration, in transformation, in revival. Yes, your life will continue to Bring forth the seed after God's kind. Your spirit man is equipped and empowered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Yes. Thank you, Father. Well, friends, thank you so very much if you have been part of this morning's uh, uh, de devotional session i believe the spirit of god has touched you because i believe i without that i feel a man a touch of god within the very you know recess of my heart I'm, I'm grateful to god for how he has led us this morning you know just looking at that scripture in jeremiah amen you know 10 20 23 i know O oh lord that a man's way is not his own when the enemy wants you to make decisions and move in certain direction that you know amen, has not really received the approval of God, tell him no. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Let him guide your step. Amen. So, thank you everyone. God bless you. Please do share this um, message if you can. I will appreciate it. I'm sure the Father will even more appreciate it than me. I share it and uh, let somebody know. Let somebody be, you know, be blessed from this word this morning amen and please continue to pray for us continue to pray for our ministry continue to stand ask the lord to touch your heart regarding supporting us consider supporting this work because we depend on people who were touched by the lord to support us so please do as you can see everything we do here is based on faith is based on truth is based amen on pure love there's no agenda the only agenda is kingdom agenda and I pray that kingdom will become manifest and even more real in your life. God bless you. I'll see you again. Enjoy the rest of the day. Bye-bye.